Ooh, what's we got here? That's interesting. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 1986. This one's 34 years old. That's got to be collectible. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. I'll take it back. I take it back. I take it back. We got something. Ooh, 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 ooh. this traffic you wouldn't even know that there's a uh, shelter in place order out right now it's crazy what's up locker nuts all right it is another uh, it's not super beautiful it's a little cloudy but I don't even care I'm out of the house to so to me this is the most beautiful day I've seen in a long time at least two days so I'm right now going over to my mom's house for a quick stop to pick some stuff up and then over to the storage unit to hopefully wrap up this series on the no-show locker. He's still got a few boxes, so uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. All right, locker nuts, you ready? Let's glove up for some more action. Unboxing action. I'm at my facility, my storage facility, where I have two units, one here, one over there, full of boxes that we haven't gone through. Are you guys hungry for some unboxing? I know you're not getting it from the other channels. Pretty much everyone's out of boxes, not us. We've got a ton of stuff because luckily I bought a ton of stuff right before all this craziness happened. I rented two lockers, I shoved it all in. Let's get to it. All right, over to here, I've got just a few more boxes to go through from the no-show locker. Mm. It's gonna be kind of sad. We're almost gonna wrap this one up, but uh not yet right not yet those and maybe a couple picture boxes there let's see what we find in there okay 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 this has been such a great locker so far if you guys don't know what i'm talking about if you're like what is the no show locker what is this channel about well we buy storage lockers at the auction just like on tv with storage wars and we go through the stuff here on YouTube to show you what we find because we think that's a fun adventure. What do we got here? Bridal collection, something old, something new. It's a dollar, little dollar packs of decorations. So this is for making like, uh, like bridal, like little decorations for the table or uh, prizes or gifts. What do you call it? Gifts? I don't know. Magic ink. Bunch of little st stamps. This is a craft box. I mean, that's what I'm, that's the conclusion I'm coming to. This is a craft box. Yeah, this is cool. This is like dollhouse furniture here. Little sewing machine, it's metal. Some little thimbles, and like, or uh, spools rather. Some little spools, a little basket. Okay, the miniature stuff actually, we have been able to sell on our auction. There's a collector market for the miniatures. Let's see what else we got here, Nope, 10. Okay. Ooh, these are nice. Easter's this Sunday. These eggs are nice. I'm hoping for a prize, but I'm not finding it. Yeah, we got a lot of Easter stuff here, guys. That's a nice brush set. Our, my girls would like that. They have been painting up a storm lately. Oh, okay. Stamping ideas. Okay, 15 bucks. Dang, brand new. Boy, this is some decent stuff. There's a lot of money. A lot of money went into buying this stuff. Wallpaper cutouts, stickers. This is a nice little organizer. Stamp a birthday book and rubber stamp kit. So we have a lot of stamping stuff here. Hmm. That's cool. This is heavy right here, whatever it is. What is this? This is interesting, look at that. It's got some little hearts. Oh, you put the paper in there and you punch out a heart? Oh, that's cool. Let's try that. Yeah, that's a heart. This is snowflake right there. I was just thinking of a joke, political joke, but I'll oh, pass. That's a maple leaf, right, or some sort of leaf. Uh, there's a spiral. Very nice. Love the spiral. There's a circle. 
and a star. Okay. What's in this one? Look at that little tiny hammer. Okay, there's a little mat. It's like a cutting mat, you know. Ooh, what is this? So this embellish, the same as this embellish, eyelet setter, and hole punch. I don't really know what that does. This is, does something. I just I don't know what this is. You guys probably know more about this than I do. I see little butterflies. This is for putting like kind of like a bedazzler. These are eyelets. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll put this in our auction and sell a big craft lot because this might keep some people busy right now during the quarantine or shelter in place or whatever they're calling it. All right, here's some more stamps. Put that in there. Okay. this oh, it looks like envelopes but the 16 bucks what the heck how could that be 16 dollars with the envelopes could be filled with some dollar bills or something all right i see a bunch more stuff in here that i don't feel like going through right now so we'll take this home and uh go through it in a little more detail and see what we got see if it's stuff for the auction or flea market this guy looks kind of interesting this looks like uh this looks like a lid for that food saver device because we had a smaller one. This looks like a bigger version. You hook the little hose to it, and I think it vacuum seals. It sucks the air out. I think that's what that is. What's this? Oh, look at that. Made in Spain. Uh, what do you call this? A, it's like a flask, but there's a name for this. Uh, it's pretty cool. Made in Spain. A little different. That's dusty. Oh, look at this. Little leather purse. It's really pretty. Decorated up. Yeah, another one. Nice. Okay. This one's a little bit more regular, not leather. Okay. That looks like the 80s or early 90s right here. <laughs> I wonder if this would go to the vintage market. All right. Oh, some little leopard print. Uh, checkbook holder there it's cool one purse old that's old oh what's we got here that's interesting huh i wonder what that had in it before it looks like it's for jewelry okay oh wow that's for jewelry too that's kind of cool it's got some little sparkles on it too. Here's another leopard print, just a little purse. The leopard print stuff's been super hot lately just because I think of that show, The Tiger King. Oh, look at this, all these little, they're like Asian pouches, little bags, whole bunch of them. Yeah, all right, maybe we'll put that in our auction. And this one too, this one's actually, the big one's cool. Look at that, that feels vintage. Looks like it's in good condition, too. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, this is nice. Look at this eel skin. Got an eel skin. Whoa, look at that. Very interesting. There's a hinge there. It only opens partially. Um, too bad. Looks like a little stain right here. You know, a little... Hmm, what is that? Is that a burn mark or what? I don't know. It's a little bit of wear on this one, but it is eel skin. And it does look to be vintage. That's a little different. And we like finding stuff that's different. We do. I want to find the unique stuff. There's a little leopard print. Oh, this is nice. A little scarf. 100% silk. All right, cool. Okay, let's see. Miscellaneous tin cans and Christmas stockings. Does not sound very good. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. That is not what I want to see on a box, but we're going to go through it anyways. Santa, please stop here. Santa, just stop. Santa, stop. Okay, some more Christmas ornaments. And this is boring. Super boring. 
Santa on the tractor. These are soaps. Avon soaps. I gotta look guys, I gotta look in here just to make sure there's nothing in there, but I was already pretty sure there wasn't. This is a really terrible box. Seize candy box, cardboard. Wow, they wrapped that in paper, really. Is there really a market for these? It's not believing it. I don't believe the hype. Big lots, 99 cent. You really think there's a collector market for that? I don't think so. It's just a box, guys. This is a terrible box. Sorry for wasting your time. Next box. I don't think this one's going to be much better. Christmas gift bags. Okay. There you go. Boom. It is what they said it was. How funny. Look at this. They have a box that they cut down the seam, turned inside out, and then taped it up. You can see the seam right here. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that. It's actually kind of a good idea for shipping, though. Okay, we found a couple of these already. Both times, I believe they were ties. And this time is purses. Okay. Okay, let's hope we got some better purses here. I don't know what it, that even says. You can you guys read that? I don't know what that says, but it looks like it's brand new. It's got the little paper on the zipper. And, yeah. I'd say that's brand new. That's a decent little purse. I don't know if that brand's popular or not, but it seems to be decent. Okay, ah, here's a little leather fringe. Is that what you call it? Fringe purse? Leather? Suede? And that is kind of nice. Yeah, leather or leopard print? Cheetah or something. Okay. I don't see any brand names on them, but these are decent purses. It's got leather on here. Okay, there's some cats. Oh, that's an Eddie Bauer. No. Laurel Birch. Laurel Birch. Huh. Okay, it's got right there too. Cool. And this one's not so cool. Okay. This one's alright. Nope, 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 nope. That's gross. Ah Natural. Ah Natural. There's the brand all down there. Huh. It's got some spots in here. It looks like probably from makeup or something. And it says genuine leather trim. It's just a trim, huh? This almost feels like weatherproof. Like Gore-Tex. Made in Hong Kong. Ah Natural. That's maybe a little bit nicer. It's decent. Okay, what's this guy? Huh, that's dirty. Right. I don't want to sell dirty stuff if I can avoid it. Cold Water Creek. It's almost got like a alligator skin texture to it, but it is not. It is not. Okay, it looks like we're still going through Christmas stuff. Still got more Christmas stuff. There's a big old Santa. Oi. See him? Huh, all right. He's heavy too. He probably sits up on something like this. Shelf or something. A lot of silver stuff. See that? Lots of silver. Oakland Raiders Santa's gift ornament. How funny. Look at that. It's an NFL license, so it's got the serial number on it. There's another Hallmark keepsake ornament box. Friendly Elves. A big silver bell. Silver bell, silver bell, it says brass bell, I'm confused. Now the Raiders, go Raiders, and that's a Hallmark keepsake, nice. Oh, there's another Santa, posable Santa, and he's got his Raiders flag. Sam's got some class. Oh, there's another one, this one's out of the box. It's posable, huh? Boom, he just kicked a field goal, yeah! Okay, this is Christmas Raider Santa. Oh. All right. If you remember a few videos ago, we found Mrs. Claus 
in a raider outfit. Maybe this is a Santa Claus. <laughs> this is a Raiders Santa. And look at the detail on this. Pretty cool. Great condition. And this is by the Danbury Mint right here. Raiders Santa. 2000s. 20 years old. Huh. It's cool. Oh, it is the match. Look at this. This is the one that we found a few videos ago. This is the Mrs. Claus with the Raiders uh, outfit on. I was going to get that out. But uh, also Danbury Mint. 2001. Neat. A lot of detail on this too. So cool. Okay, next box. We're getting low on boxes, guys. Coming down to it. Ooh, this is good. I see right out the gate. Mary Inglebright. Mary Inglebright. All right. So 10. Perfect condition. Oh, guys, this is good. So good. So good. So good. So good. I see another one. Yeah. We're going to have lots of Mary Inglebright lots coming up for our auctions. I hope you guys like Mary Inglebright. This one was, it was 20 bucks marked down to 10, but that was back in 2002. 2002, and just got a nice little box. You got the lid there. I'm not going to take that out right this second, but that's a nice piece with the original box and everything. It's good. This is good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, there's another one. Same as the other. Another 10. Brand new. It's two 10s. What do we got here? Okay, we got two of these, whatever they are. Little tiny, like, uh, jewelry dish or just candy dish. I don't know. Two of them. This is right here. It's a tea cozy. That makes sense. You rest your tea bag on it. Here's another one. Tea bag rest, very cherry. I'm not gonna take it out. It's another little dish or tea bag. Oh, there's Mary Inglebright picture frame. Yes, 2001, almost vintage. Okay, here's a Mary Inglebright, 1997, a little bit older. Charpente, Charpente. So I think of nesting boxes. All right, good, 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 good. Now, I can understand how the tins like that would be collectible, just not the other ones. This is a pot. 2002, Mary Inglebright. Uh, like a planter, a pot for plants. Right? I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is, but there's no holes in the bottom. So I might be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, we're getting into some nice stuff here. Look at that. Boy, that's cool. Nice piece. Oh, it's got the saucer in there too. Don't you love how they put everything back in the original boxes? Like, put it all back in the styrofoam and everything. Here's another set, teacup set. Very beautiful. This one says patio pots on it. Small, very cherry. There we go. A little smaller planter for, for a plant. Pot for a plant. Okay, and here we got a big pitcher. Yeah, pitcher. It's called Meadow. Meadow. Oh, look at that. 1999. Little spoiler, guys. I see Mary Inglebright on the three of the ten. This is good. Oh, yes. Look at this. Okay, this is another one of those boxes. We found these before. Those were nesting boxes. It's a box, it says. It looks like a hat. Mary Inglebright. Mitchell Company, it says. 1998. Very cool. All of them in perfect condition. Okay, what's this? Holiday cards. Yeah, that might just be a box. Let's see what's in here. Yep, just a box because here's a Mary Inglebright little tiny picture frame. 1995. We're getting some older stuff here. And there's another one. Mary Inglebright, 1995. Older, older, older. 25 years old. Here's a tin. It says Believe. 1997. Mary Inglebright. And inside we got a little card. Like a gift tag with the same and then a little tiny mug got that same theme believe and it's got the little me okay another mary inglebright 1997 nice little box yeah, this one's heavier let's see 
what we got here. Oh, okay, what's this? Oh, neat, what is this? More little things. Mary Inglebright, 1998, oh boy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, we found lots of miniatures in this, uh, in the no-show locker, lots of miniature stuff. They definitely like to collect miniature things and they like to collect the Mary Inglebright things. Now we're finding miniature Mary Inglebright. Who knew there was such a thing? This is like a thimble with the teacups on it. Okay. Look at the detail on this. Wow. ME, 1998. Your life, no longer an option. What? <laughs> Grab a, you know, sandwich or something if you're getting hungry. You might be here a while. Grab some snacks. There's a little, uh, it's like a toy, right? A little pole toy with the elephant. So cool. I'm not exactly sure what they do with all these little miniatures. Okay, well maybe there's not that many in there. They're getting less miniature. This is a little snow globe. Look at that. The queen of everything. We're going to be having Mary Inglebright lots in our auctions for like weeks. <laughs> this is cool. It's good to be queen. Very nice, 1998. Snap out of it. That was another one of the themes we saw in like cards and stuff. Mary Inglebright, 1998. Here, 1998. Oh, man, these are, these are actually pretty nice. There's a lot of detail on these. I'm getting smaller again. A little teapot, M-E it says right there. Oh, wait a second. Look at that. Huh. <laughs> Very detailed. There's another one. Another tiny little teapot, and it's got the little hinged lid. Look at that. These are adorable. That's right. I said adorable. Locker nuts said adorable. Another one. Now, I hope you guys understand the reason I get excited about this stuff is because I know y'all getting excited about it when you see it in the auctions, right? And that makes me excited. When we have interesting things like this that we put in our auctions, our live auctions, and that makes people excited to, you know, bid on and get a chance to own, that makes me excited. I don't get excited about this kind of stuff usually. Collection of rubber stamps from Mary Inglebright. And there's a bunch of stamps in there. Is this open? Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. 1993, we're getting even older here. A book about tea. Time for tea, Mary Inglebright. Okay. Sweetest Heart. A book about love, illustrated by Mary Inglebright. Look, this is cool. 1996, Desk Diary. That might be a little outdated, but maybe there's some collectability to it. I don't know. Oh, it's got nice prints if you want to frame those. Or just look through them, they're cool. Very high quality. Everything you see from hers, really high quality, like the print and the quality of the materials. Good stuff. Attention to detail everywhere. Another desk calendar, 2002. How... how Mary Inglebright crayons, huh? Okay, those are not, those are long gone, but what's this? Decorative thumbtacks. Oh jeez. This is this is getting kind of wild, isn't it? There's so much stuff. Wow. A whole bunch more in here. Okay, this is nice. And there's the M-E. I think it's safe to assume that everything in here is Mary Inglebright, but. Still want to look for those markings. What is this? I think it's just a decorative. I don't think it opens. Huh. Okay, here's another piece, 2001. Sugar and creamer set. We're not going to open that one right this second. Okay, little tin. I love Christmas. Mary Inglebright. There's another tin. Look at that sweetie pie. 1986. This one's 34 years old. That's got to be collectible. This one's sealed. Queen Rose, the Rosebud Garden of Girls. 
Okay, recipe for happiness, a couple of them. Bountiful harvest, a couple of them. It's no problem, we're seeing some duplicates. We'll just put, we'll break them up and put them in different lots. Winter, Mary Engelbright's winter. Believe, all right, there's that theme, we've seen it. Claws and effect, that's funny. Pals. A good marriage, Mary Engelbright's autumn. There's another Mary Engelbright's winter. There's the spring and summer. We got the complete set with two winters. Mary Engelbright's wrap it up. You ever seen Dave Chappelle's comedy with the wrap it up box? You ever seen that? Wrap it up. It's a hilarious sketch. Wrap it up. That's what I always think of when I think of wrap it up. I think of Dave Chappelle. That's my mind. Queen of Christmas. Book. Illustrated book. The Night Before Christmas. Illustrated by Mary Engelbright. That's cool. This is great stuff. Oh, these are calendars. Calendars from 2003, 2002, 2001, 1999. <laughs> 1998, 1997, 19, I don't know, 96. And let's see, is it 1995? Yes. Big surprise there. That was the big shocker. All right. The Queen of Everything 2001 mini calendar. It's a bag, gift bag, Mary Engelbright. A couple more. Mary Engelbright. Mary Engelbright. Hallmark. Isn't that funny? She designed just about everything. Another one. And a magnetic calendar. Boom. Oh, that's cool. That's not dated. Very nice. Right there, six. If you're sick on a day, mark that. Game today, put it on the calendar. Little magnets. That's cool. Okay. This box, then a couple of picture boxes. But I'm going to tell you the truth. You see that? I saved this one for last because I see little boxes in here. It's so funny. This is how the adventure began was a bin bigger than this one, but it had a clear side with what looked like jewelry boxes, perhaps. I don't know. That's how we began this thing, and that's how we're going to end it. The first box we went through, we found jewelry. Let's hope we can end this the same. Not a good start. We've got a bag, a couple little boxes but they are empathy uh, it was a jewelry box Dang. empty okay oh come on don't do this to me nail polish it's kind of cool oh another one look at that nail polish and the bottle looks like a rose it's cool i mean not that cool but you know what i mean These are jewelry holders. This is, uh, uh, dang. Nice little bags and stuff, but, okay, okay, we got something. Let's see. Let's not give up hope yet. Nope. Makeup brushes. Okay. Here you are. Hmm. More jewelry. Okay, there's a couple little teddy bear pins. There's Kennedy. The Kennedy's little refrigerator magnet. That says Gumps on it, that bag. It says Gumps right there. Made in Italy. That's a really good sign. Grand Hyatt Jakarta. Oop, dang. Okay, H. Stern. Oh. Sorry guys, I thought, oh, 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 I was just gonna apologize, but I take it back, I take it back, I take it back, I take it back, we got something, I'm gonna save that for a second, ooh, 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 I'm gonna save that too, this one we can open, this one's safe, but look at that, Gumps again, I think Gumps is pricey, isn't it, I don't know, I've never shopped there, This has got something. Waterford. Waterford Crystal. What you got for us? Huh. Really? A makeup brush with a Waterford Crystal handle. That's interesting. Okay, cool. Still not jewelry. But it's good. This will go to auction. Okay. 
Whoa. What is this thing? Oh, this is a pin. Look at that. This is, it says it's a real rose? A moment in the beauty of a real rose captured forever. So what they do? They lacquered this rose. It, it is a real rose. And it is lacquered. And I probably shouldn't be grabbing it that way. <laughs> ah, that's pretty. The handle is cool. Award-winning Cristal Rose. Huh, 1978. What the heck? 79 on the box. All right. That's some vintage stuff right there. Auction. Shane Company. Fourteen oh, K, it says. Fourteen K. Fourteen K. Bonk. Okay. Right. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, guys. Come on. Keep hope alive. If you believe that we're going to find jewelry, clap your hands, boys and girls. Clap your hands right now. Oh, this is cool. A little bracelet and some earrings. That's some jewelry. See, did you, were you clapping? I think you did it. I think it's Avon, but I think you did it. You did it. You clapped your hands and you believe. And that was enough. Somebody loves you. Quality, it's as important as in diamonds as in everything else you own. Well, let's find the diamonds. Let's find them. They had them. We just got to find them. The world's greatest Raiders fan. Bag looks good. Bag looks good. Come on. Oh, a little perfume bottle. That's right. Remember, we did find quite a few perfumes as well as some perfume bottle collections. Oh, that's what this is. Put it down there and you squeeze it, pull it, pulls the, some perfume up, and then. Ooh, so pretty. Smells nice. Oh, what? How did I not even see that? It was sitting right there. With the Nordstrom boxes on top. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? No. The, oh, it is Tiffany and Company. Full grain hide. But it's from Chase. Okay, well, it is... That's a Tiffany address book. Apparently made for Chase. And you know what that says to me? Those stinking bankers, they make way too much money. The banks are evil. Madonna Inn. Found quite a few things from the Madonna Inn. These guys liked going to the Madonna Inn. Bookmark with Abraham Lincoln. A couple of them. And then a couple bookmarks from the Madonna Inn. Those are nice. Huh, they're made in leather. Made in England. Dang. Huh, that's cool. That's a little different. Okay. You ready? Last two boxes. Robin Wood, it says. Boston, Massachusetts. It's a bookmark. Mm. It's a nice bookmark, no doubt, but it's just a bookmark. Okay. Do people collect bookmarks? Hmm. All right. This is the one. It's got something in there. He's got something. All right, guys, what do you think's in here? Doesn't really sound like jewelry to me, but I'm still hoping. Okay, you ready? Let's see, let's see. Oh, ah, yeah, it's more perfume. I thought it sounded kind of like glass bottles. More perfume, this is good, it's a vintage perfume. Right, just like the other ones we found. So we have one more little stash of vintage perfume. Look at that. Um, but yeah, not really what, I, oh, that's nice, look at that. Not really what I was hoping to find. I was hoping for some gold and diamonds. Gold and diamonds, because you know the box teased us. It was teasing us. Okay guys, we got two of these right here. This is the last thing to go through. 
said Ansel Adams prints on, maybe it's on the other one. I can't find where it said that, but I thought it said that. Ooh, wait a second. Look at that. The whole bunch of stuff wrapped up in here. Hmm. This could be, this could be good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what is this? Now we could do well with art. There's been some big hits in this industry with art. People finding some expensive art. Sometimes the biggest scores are in the art world. Um, Morgan, it says right here. M O R G A N Morgan. It's a line art drawing. It's pretty cool. This has got a cat. The frame is really nice. Look at the color in the frame. If you can see that, it's got some green along the frame there. And it's, that's that's an attractive. Uh, frame and the print looks pretty decent. This is Southwest print and it says T Coleman right there We have one in the back. I think it's the same same type of look same same artist. I believe Okay, this piece I have a feeling is them I think but that looks like something somebody did. It's nice. It's a good job But I did find I did find if you remember we found some rolled up paper It looked like someone took art classes. They could have progressed to this level. I don't see a signature on this It's just a print Definitely got an 80s look to it. Look at the peach uh, frame. <laughs> and there's a photograph of a stream, it looks like. It's, I don't know, that doesn't even look very clear to me. This most likely was something that he took and blew up and had framed. This is something nicer right here. Do you see that? That's uh, Yosemite, and I think this must be an Ansel Adams print. The frame's beautiful. Frame's got that nice silver brushed metal and lots of grays. Uh huh, look at that. Special edition photographs of Yosemite by Ansel Adams. Thunderstorm Yosemite Valley. Valley. Printed by Alan Ross. From Ansel Adams' original negative to his exacting specifications under the supervision of the Ansel Adams Publishing Rights Trust. Sold only through the Ansel Adams Gallery. Yosemite National Park. What do you think? Is there money there? I think there's some money there. I do. I do, I do, I do. I do. Okay, this is where I got that idea. Right here, pictures, Ansel Adams, okay? So that's what made me excited. And that's why I wanted to save this. Kind of for last. I don't know if this is Ansel Adams. It could be. Definitely looks southwestern. I see a graveyard. I don't know how well this is getting on the camera there, but there's a graveyard down at the bottom. The little, uh, I don't know, Pueblo. This is definitely marked Ansel Adams on it, but it's more of a print. I'm got to be pretty sure this is a print, and it doesn't even look very clear. It's not real sharp. Um, I don't think this is going to be, the frame is cheap. I mean, it's really cheap. I don't think there's gonna be any value in this. Another cheap one, dang. That's pretty though. Look at that. Wow. So at least this one, the photograph looks sharp. It's probably still a print, but the photograph is sharp and it's that's pretty striking. But it's a cheap print. I mean, the, the frame. The frame is, is very cheap. The kind of stuff you get at the mall. Glass, yeah. It doesn't even have a mat inside and the frame is like, is like flexes out and in. It's cheap, cheap, cheap. All right, guys. Well, I would say this right here is the highlight of the day for me. Um, this is a beautiful piece. The frame's nice. The graphic is great. It's getting some glare there, but the um, the contrast in there and the sharpness of it, beautiful. And the fact that it's Ansel Adams and printed to the, what sounds like a pretty rigorous standard is makes it really interesting. I'm gonna look that up and see if it's got some value. But this, uh, yeah, that's for me the best. But we found good stuff, didn't we? All that Mary Inglebright, I can't believe we found two more boxes. The last time I was here, I found one whole box, or no, maybe it was at home. Well, anyways, I just recently found a whole bunch of Mary Inglebright and I found two more boxes. We have had like, what, four boxes now of Mary Inglebright stuff, fantastic. And I, like I said before, in our live auction, that was a hot item, got a lot of people excited. People are actually asking me, emailing me, messaging me, do you have any more Mary Inglebright? And I was like, no. Well, now I'm like, yeah. <laughs>
We're gonna have stuff for weeks to come in our auctions and I love that guys, I love it. I love having stuff that I can offer you that you are actually excited about. And we have lots of other stuff coming up too. Monday night, 6 p.m. Every Monday night, 6 p.m. is our live auction. If you haven't been there before, come join us. It's a lot of fun, even if you just come to watch. All right, it's a ton of fun and we're on for hours. We go for hours. We also do a midweek show every now and then. I think we'll have one this coming week. It'll be Wednesday night at 6 p.m. All right, that's when, usually when we do it. So No Show Locker comes to a close, right? We, that story is coming to a close and I have to say I'm a little sad. I always get sad when I have a fantastic locker that's a big locker and that goes for a long time. I get invested in it and I really enjoy it. And then when it ends, I'm just kind of sad. But it's okay, we got lots of other great stuff to go through. We still got the train locker and that has been, that's been amazing, really. It's been an amazing locker and we've, we've not even gone through 25% of it. There's so much more to go through. And then I have all the vaults that we bought at the moving auction up north. Lots more videos to come, lots more great stuff to find. Join us for our auctions and guys, if you haven't, please, please, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you'll be alerted when we put out new videos or do a live or have a auction or whatever we got going on. You'll get that alert so you can know to join us, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockin' Nuts.